All right, I'm 11 weeks and one day pregnant because I didn't film my vlog yesterday. But by filming it today, I get the nice, pretty sunlight. I don't have to deal with the crazy lighting in this room. So that's awesome. Uh, yeah, so 11 weeks, which seems really cool. So it's funny, I always do my vlogs by a week completed. Like, I'm 11 weeks completed. You know what I mean? So I'm in my 12th week when I do my updates. But I have these pregnancy apps. And the ones that I have are... Um, my pregnancy from Baby Center, what to expect, um, the, their pregnancy app, uh, health and parenting, pregnancy, um, and, what was the other one? Uh, the Sprout pregnancy app. So that's what I use. I have four. Um, the reason why I have four is just because excitement, fun, each one's a little different. I don't really need four. <laughs> so anyway, pretty cool. All of them do by week completed, except for the what to expect app. And they, that one always, I'm always like, what? Because it, it always gives you the, like, I'm in my 12th week right now. So that's the update they give me. And so sometimes I'm like, what? Okay. So basically, at 11 weeks completed, your baby's about the size of a fig, which is crazy awesome. That's about, what is that, an inch and a half, something like that? Inch and a half. And I think they, they're measuring crown to rump still. So crown to rump, inch and a half. But it's growing into the size of a plum this week. That's really cool to me. And your uterus, if it's your first time pregnancy, uh, I should have looked at this. I'm pretty sure you're around or close to your uterus should be around or close to the size of a grapefruit. Yeah, like the What to Expect app says that your baby's as large, as big as a large plum, but it's actually growing into that size this week. So it can be a little confusing. Yeah. And it says as you in the, as you in the, as you near the end of your first trimester, you're Uterus, um, they're talking about week during this week, the 11 to 12 weeks. Um, your uterus is about the size of a large grapefruit. Um, it can be actually, your uterus might be a little bigger if it's um, your more pregnancies along. Babies are always about the same time and every pre uh, same size in every pregnancy. Obviously, babies differ, but you guys know what I mean and the general thing. But uteruses, <laughs> they can get bigger faster in subsequent pregnancies. So. Um, so my uterus is probably bigger than a grapefruit right now. That's what I'm going to say because I feel really big. Uh, <laughs> so I had a midwife appointment this week that I almost forgot about. That is just, oh my gosh, it is not like me. But what I did is my midwife appointment was on the 12th at 1. Um, it's okay. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, sorry, Grayson, I was trying to say hi. Um, Kyle's home. He has a like pretty severe cold and so... He didn't want to go to work and expose everybody to that. Um, the, but I had put the 14th on my calendar. And I know it's my fault. Like, the midwife was like, she's so sweet. She's like, well, it might have been me. And I was like, I'm pretty sure it was me. Like, I don't know. But anyway, so I, I got there. And and um, she, I still was able to see her because she just texted me. like, And she's like, don't we have an appointment right now? And I was like, oh, my gosh. But luckily, my mom was having lunch with us that day. So I was like, mom, can I leave the kids with you and go to my appointment? She was like, go, go. So just luckily, you know, and you can bring your kids to your midwife appointment, but I mean, it's just really distracting. So if you cannot bring them, that's awesome. So anyway, so my midwife appointment went really well. Um, she was like, uh, we kind of talked, we didn't get into it too much, but you know, she was saying that how much happier I seemed. I know she was reevaluating like the kind of like that depression feeling I was having. And um, I know it's just because I feel better. So I, I'm happier, I'm more myself. I feel so, oh yeah, so I, just, I feel so much better, you guys. That morning sickness is pretty much a thing of the past. Sometimes I get little bouts of nausea, but in general, I'm, it's awesome. Awesomeness. So we just had our little chats back and forth. Then, yeah, I mean, we just had our basic conversations. My um, blood pressure is excellent. My pulse rate was excellent. Um, oh, I haven't even gained a whole pound. Um, I was actually a little disappointed. I was kind of hoping that maybe I'd lost weight. And I know some of you are going to be like, I hey, don't lose weight when you're pregnant, even if you're heavy. Blah, blah. But the thing is, it's like I could lose some weight and I, the baby would be fine. So I was like kind of hoping that with all the like craziness I'd had that I was down. But um, I wasn't even up a whole pound. I was up literally like three quarters of an, like ounces or something. It was, it was like not even a whole pound. So that was awesome. Oh, what else? And then she, um, I laid down so she could feel, she said, you know, you can't always feel your uterus at this point, but, uh, or the baby at this point, but she was feeling, she's like, oh, I'm pretty sure I can feel it right here. Like she could feel 
right above uh, my pubic area, like the, she could feel the bulge and she let me try to feel it. Not, I could just feel something hard. I, I would never have known it was anything. So that was neat. And um, we could hear the heartbeat. She could hear the heartbeat. She wasn't sure because, you know, since I have a tilted, a backwards uterus, um, she was like, if it hadn't flipped forward yet, you know, she might, it might not be able to hear the heartbeat, but we could hear it. It was hard to find it. So my uterus might not be fully in the front yet, but, um, it, it may be, but it, you know, might not be. But anyway, the baby's heart rate was crazy fast though. It was like 180. I was like, what? It was so fast. And so I was like, is that normal? Cause my other kids' heart rates weren't that fast. And she was like, oh yeah, it's totally normal when they're this small. It's just, it was really fast from what I'm used to in my previous experiences, but it was really cool to get to hear that. So that was exciting. Yeah, it just made me feel awesome and then that was it and so week 11 has been pretty much just you know smooth sailing um I, I didn't work out as much as i'd like to this week it's spring break and my gym oh my gosh my gym is just like crazy right now all these parents that don't know what to do with their kids and they all just go to the gym and the kids are running around everywhere and i worry that the um gym daycare that they will um, not segregate the kids the way they're supposed to. It just concerns me, so I didn't really want to bring the children and blah, blah, But I still got some workouts in, so that's good. So then I wanted to go over, um, I always forget to show you guys the vitamins I'm taking. So these are the vitamins I'm taking. They are, um, they're supposed to be like a super high quality uh, version of the vitamins that you can get at the store. Um, if you go to your OBGYN, they sometimes they'll prescribe a higher quality and you have to actually get them from the pharmacy. That's what I had to do with my other two children. Um, but anyways, but I was able to buy these there. You can, I know, I don't know if you can get these exact brands, but you can get the same quality at like a Whole Foods or a place like that. So um, the I'm taking obviously prenatal and this one is called um, prenatal forte. So, and it is, um, you know, just a typical prenatal vitamin. The only problem with it is it doesn't have DHA, so I take a separate one. Some do. And so, um, but this one, it doesn't have as much folic acid in one dose as she wants me to have. And so, um, two tablets is a serving. So to get the full amount of folic acid that she wants me to have, I have to take three servings. So six of these. Six. Ugh. But, you know, meh, that is what it is. But anyway, everything in this, like, it's... I, I'm not going to lie to you, I don't personally know a lot about it, but it is supposed to be like, this is supposed to be like super high quality prenatal vitamin. So I figure, you know, that's fine. <laughs> and then I'm taking the um, Pro, It's this is um, Nordic Naturals Pro DHA 1000, all right? And this is high intensity DHA levels, and it's not supposed to only give you the DHA for the baby and everything like that, but it's supposed to help promote neurological health and your, it's supposed to support your mood and your memory. And so that was, she really wanted me on a good quality one too, just to help with like, since I was kind of having some mood issues and things like that. Um, the, uh, the serving size of this is two, two a day, um, and you can split them up. So these um, are the gel tablets and they have a strawberry aftertaste. I thought it was gonna be disgusting. I was like, ugh, I love strawberries, but I hate strawberry stuff. No, this, the aftertaste on this, you don't even hardly taste it, and what you do taste is very pleasant. So I like these a lot. They go down really easy. They're a lot easier to take than those prenatal forte pills. The next thing I'm taking is a B Complex. I just bought this at my local grocery store, so it's just the grocery store brand. It's not a fancy brand, but it's just a, it's a vitamin B Complex. Um, it's supposed to help, the pill itself, they're supposed to help with your energy and your metabolism, um, but in, in pregnancy, they're supposed to be really good for helping with morning sickness and things like that. I don't know, I didn't notice it helping at all, um, but I figure it couldn't hurt and it's, um, vitamin B is so important for you to have anyway. The other thing I'm taking is vitamin D3. This is, um, integrative brand. So is the prenatal forte, they're an integrative, um, brand and I'll put like the names down below. This is, this is a chocolate flavored chewable pill. I can't chew it. Any time, I don't like chewable pills. I just, they make, they like, my gag reflex goes crazy. But you can just swallow these. 
they're tiny you just have to take one a day um, it's just supposed to help up with your bones and your immune system and things like that so it's a good thing natural thing to take when you're pregnant so yeah so I take that's what I take I take all those every day um, I'm not gonna lie you guys sometimes I feel kind of queasy and I don't I have trouble getting all six of these down so and they're like the days when I was severely morning sick and I knew I wasn't gonna be able to take the pills I would just take the um, the original prenatal vitamins that I bought at a drugstore that have the right amount of folic acid in them. They're not as high quality, but it's still a good pill. And I would just take that because I only had to take one so I could get it down. So there's all those vitamins. And so, yeah, so that was that. Was that. I finally wanted to show that to you guys. So let me show you guys the belly. And I don't have sound, so I'm just going to talk over it. But, yeah, there's the belly. I was filming it with the everybody was downstairs, so Grayson was, like, saying hi to me. <laughs> and everything but yeah definitely like poking out there um considering i haven't even gained a pound it's like really big um which is cool all right so yeah so there we go there's the belly and the other cool thing i wanted to talk about is that i've noticed i have this like kind of full feeling in my stomach i feel kind of like full like fuller down there so it's it's a very um it's kind of a pleasant feeling because it's comforting because it makes me know the baby's growing and then today, like when I was going up the stairs, I was doing like high stairs, you know, just just incidental workouts that you try to get in throughout the day. And anyway, so my leg would come up onto my stomach like higher and um, I, it, I could feel like something hard there. And I was like, holy smokes, that's awesome. So that that's exciting. All right, guys. So that is week 11. Baby dust on my TTC friends. And there we go. Yay. Um... I wonder now, like, I feel like it's been going by not very fast, but then I just have this feeling it's going to start flying by, so I'm going to like, I don't know, but it's nice not feeling sick anymore because it's letting me get really excited about this, so awesomeness. Alright, bye guys.